Hello again, my name is Pranith and welcome to our TradingQ Pinescript series. In this video, we are going to build and backtest a dual super trend trading strategy with the help of AI. So you can see over here, the net profit is to 10%, total close trades are 200, percent profitable is 45%, profit factor is 1.5 and the max drawdown is 16%. So this is the trading strategy that we have built with the help of AI and I'm going to share it right now. So in this video, we are going to build and backtest a trading strategy with two super trend indicators and we are going to use AI to build it. So to build any strategy with the help of ChatGPT or any other AI tools, we need a prompt, right? So I've already created the prompt for you. So now let's go to the prompt and type in the inputs. So here is the prompt. So first you need to write an objective, right? What are you looking for? So I want to create a swing trading strategy. I want to create a swing trading strategy in Pinescript that uses that uses two super trend, two super trends and RSI indicator. Okay. So I'm going to use the RSI indicator as a trend filter. So here you can see here is the prompt. Correct. And over here we have the objective, right? So first you need to write an objective exactly what are you trying to build. So I want to create a swing trading strategy in Pinescript that uses two super trends and the RSI indicator. So we are going to use the RSI indicator as a trend filter. So you can see right details of the strategy. So first we have the indicator section. So we have the super trend. So the super trend consists of two things, right? ATR, ATR length and the factor. So we have two super trends. So this is the first super trend. This is the second super trend and we have the RSI. So over here, RSI doesn't consist of ETR length and factor, right? It consists of source and it consists of period, right? Look back period. So source and period, right? So period is nothing but the look back period. So you can keep 3, 9, 14, whatever you want. So ETR length, I'm going to keep as 10 of the first super trend and the factor as 3. For the second super trend, the ETR length is going to be 10 and the factor is going to be 1.5. And for the RSI indicator, I want the source to be close and period to be 14. Okay. So these are the three indicators that I'm going to use to build this dual super trend trading strategy. So the next thing are the entry conditions, right? So by when, so when do you want to go long? So I want to go long when both the super trends are green. So when both the super trends, both the super trends are green and when the RSI and when the RSI is greater than the 60 level. Okay. And for short, it is just going to be the opposite. We just have to write in plain, simple English sentences. So when both the super trends are red and RSI is less than the 40 level. Okay. Then we have the exit conditions, right? So I want to exit my long position when the super trend, when the super trends turn red. So exit long position, exit long position, both the super trends when both the super trends turn red and over here short exit will be when both the super trends turn green all right and then <clears throat> we have the note right so at the end of the prompt you have to write a note if you want to add something extra to the code so over here i want to i want to have an option i want to have an option to select long and short signals separately and I want an option I want user inputs user inputs for all the indicators for all the indicators and RSI level so I can change the settings so I can so I can change the settings from the settings of the indicator the settings of the indicator so I can change the 
inputs from the settings of the indicator okay so this is our prompt and now i'm going to copy and paste this prompt into chat gpt so here i'm just going to paste it and enter so now you can see this is the code so now let me copy and paste the code into trading view so we have copy and pasted the code and if we go to the strategy tester you can see we cannot see any results right so i'm just going to remove this and now if we go to strategy tester we can see the results the total close trades are too less right so there must be some problem over here so let me just go to the last trade which is over here and you can see right just remove this yeah you can see that if you have a long over here we have a exit over here but then we don't have any entries right so so if you can see whenever the prices are above the super trend the super trend should turn green and whenever the prices are below the super trend the super trend should turn red right so over here they have made a error by keeping greater than zero so now i'm going to go to chat gpt and i'm going to type over here that super trend greater than zero means red and super trend less than zero means green please rectify the error please rectify the error because in trading view minus one means it is green and one means it is red right so now i'm again going to copy and paste the code and then we are going to see if everything is working properly or not so let me just copy the code go over here remove this and receive it again now you can see we have the trades so now let's just verify the signals so you can see over here right and both the super trends turn green and the rsi is above the 60 level we are going to enter into a long position and we are going to exit our long position when the super trend when the super trend turns red so you can see right when both the super trend turns red so we have a long and over here when both the super trend turned red we exit our long position over here you can see we have minus two why we have minus two over here because it is exiting the existing long position and is taking a new short position that is the reason we have minus two so we have a short over here and again over here you can see we have plus two so it is exiting our existing short position and it is taking a new long position therefore we have minus two we have plus two over here so at, at this point you can see our exit condition our short exit condition which is when both the super trend turns green we are going to exit and our long condition which is when both the super trend turns green and the rsi is above the sixth level is getting satisfied that is reason we have minus two we have plus two again we have plus two minus two okay so as we can see everything is working properly so let me go to performance summary now first let me keep the initial capital initial capital as 2 lakhs and commission value as 0.02 receive it you can see the longs are generating only 36% return and the shorts are generating minus 2% so you know the equity curve is not good let me just go to a 30 minute time frame you can see over here when we keep a 30 minute time frame the net profit is 217 the net profit is 217% and the drawdown is 27% if you go to performance summary you can see the longs are only generating profit but the shorts are not generating any profit so if i just deselect unable short trades you will see we will, we will have a smoother equity curve correct right? we will have a smoother equity curve than before net profit is 201% and the drawdown is 20% right if we go to one hour time frame let's see you can see right this is the equity curve so let me just go to a 30 minute time frame and now uh, as we have built the strategy that we were trying to build with the super trend and the RSI indicator now let's assume that you want to add one more indicator into this particular trading strategy what you can do is you can just go to chat gpt 
and let's assume that you want to add a EMA. So tell ChatGPT I want to add I want to add a EMA indicator. I want to add a 100 period exponential moving average indicator into buy and short signal. The rules are the rules are I want to go long only when prices are above the EMA and I want to go I want to go short when prices are below the EMA and now obviously you know it is going to give you the whole code again but you don't need to copy and paste the whole code you can just copy and paste the main part so can you see over here buy condition and short condition right so over here it have added the close should be greater than the EMA value right and this is our EMA value so now let me just take this over here obviously we need the EMA length as well so they have done the EMA length over here see if you are getting confused right what to copy and paste you can just read these comments out because ChatGPT provide the code with the comment so you can learn, so you can understand it much better and then by condition and short condition so I'm just going to copy and paste the by condition and short condition over here you will see that we have the same enable long enable short super trend is green super trend is green super trend 1 is green super trend 1 is green and we have super trend 2 is green super trend 2 is green RSI value RSI upper value RSI value RSI lower value and close should be greater than the EMA value and close should be less than the EMA value so this is the part that we have added so now let me save it and you can say this is the equity curve so let me just enable long trades and deselect enable short trades you can see this is the equity curve when we add a 100 period exponential moving average obviously you, uh, you can you know decrease and increase the length of the exponential moving average you can see it is 201 percent if i keep 89 you can see it is 196 percent with a drawdown of 22 percent so now we have seen the basic backtesting so if you want to optimize the strategy to make it better you can so let's assume that you want to change this to 2 and you want to change this to 1 you can see it is 180 percent and the drawdown is 19 percent the equity code is also smoother now and if you want to keep 3 and 2 you can do it easily you can see it is 186 percent so 2 and 1 is working like this if you want to change this to 50 and 50 you can also do that and now you can see it is 161 percent if you want to keep this 70 and 30 you can do that you can see it is 108 percent so i'm just going to keep 60 and 40 because because i say 60 and 40 levels are the main levels to identify bullish and bearish zones if you want to change the RSI period you can so if i keep 4 and 2 you can see it is 200 percent if i keep 4 and 3 you can see it is 201 percent the drawdown of 18 percent now so this is how you can iterate the strategy to see what works the best for you you can see it is to 10 percent if i keep 200 which is way too big you can see it is in 70 percent if i keep 150 you can see it is 160 if i keep 63 so this is how you can iterate the strategy to see what works the best for you and obviously just remember that when you're trying to optimize strategy the underlying logic of the strategy should not change okay you know so basically this is the video this is how you can create basic trading strategies with chat gpt obviously if you know how to read pine script it will be much easier to create trading strategies with chat gpt and if you want to build this kind of trading indicators and strategies make sure to check our pine script course out the link is in the description and if you have any queries regarding our pine script course you can always reach us on our whatsapp number and i will make sure to solve all your queries and please allow me to explain you the membership that we are offering. You are going to get lifetime access to all the courses. You are going to get lifetime access to all the trading indicators. And you are going to get lifetime access to all the trading strategies. You can see the program overview over here. And you are going to get four amazing bonuses which is going to help you to build, backtest and optimize your own trading strategies. So definitely check this page out. The link is in the description. 
and also remember that I've created day trading strategies, full pack trading strategies, as well as swing trading strategies. The link of all those videos will be in the description. So make sure to check those videos out. And if you like this video, please subscribe and let us know in the comment section below what you think about this trading strategy. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.